Hey guys, welcome to 405 Resells, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Scout IQ app. Alright, so you've decided I'm going to start selling books on Amazon, specifically through Amazon FBA. Um, the best app, hands down, as of right now, is going to be the Scout IQ app. Basically, you'll be able to scan the book, see the profit you'll make off of it, and whether or not you should even buy it. Um, so, first things first, is you're going to want to come to the website, scoutiq.com. I'll put a link in the description. You can click it, and it'll take you straight here to the page that I'm on right now. Um, as far as I know, you cannot make an account through the app, so you do have to go to their website, whether that's on your phone or on a desktop like I am here. So, you come to the website. You're going to want to click this try it for free or go ahead and put your email here and click the try it for free. You'll get 14 days to try it and see if you like it. So basically, I'm going to break it down here for you of the features of the app. You have the number one e-score. This measures how often a book has sold in the past six months. You have the downloadable database so that way you don't have to have any cell signal, Wi-Fi or whatever the case is to actually scan books. You can go wherever you need to. Um, it requires zero sell signal. Then it'll also give you the trade in value, what your book is worth if you were to trade it in to Amazon, trade it into a different website, and they'll give you a set amount of money for it. Majority of the time, it's going to be a lot less than what you would get if you were to send it into FBA. Um, then it's going to give you these smart triggers. This is basically where you can set your triggers. I will go over this more in a second. The scan tracker, this tracks how many books you've scanned, how many you've accepted, your acceptance rate, their lifetime scans, etc. And then there's the profit based approach. Um, this is just their little deal that says sales price doesn't matter, bank deposits do, focus on the bottom line, the Scout IQ. Um, whatever you take that how you will. Alright, so I'm going to jump to the phone now and we're going to go ahead and scan some books, walk you through it, and just teach you how to use the actual app. Alright, so we're in the app now. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to click the download data. In the top left, you're going to click download database. And then after you're done downloading it, you're going to click the test database. It says your database looks great. Here's proof. Then you want to go back and you're going to click the scout button. So I know a lot of you guys probably are not going to start out with a barcode scanner. That's fine. Neither did I. It's a lot slower, but you got to start somewhere. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to click the barcode button on the bottom right here. It's going to pull up your camera to scan the barcode. You just put it over the barcode. Just like that. And it's going to pop up on the screen. As you can see, Scout IQ is saying, reject this book. It's because the used buy box is at 8.23, and we have a buy cost of $2. So it says, with profit on the top left corner, you're going to lose $1.75 at a buy cost of $2 on the top right. And if you click the profit, it's going to pull up um, everything you need to know. It's going to show you your fees, your shipping costs, and um, basically what the list price is and the buy cost is. If you're a merchant fulfill, you just click the top left there. It'll also give you the details if you were a merchant fill, but most of us are going to be FBA. So as you can see, it's going to be a list price of $8.23, a buy cost of $2, with Amazon fees, total fees of $7.77. And then it also breaks down the shipping for you, which is really helpful. And it's going to give you $0.25 cents per pound. This book weighs 0.85 pounds, so it's going to cost you about $0.21 cents to ship into uh, uh, Amazon FBA. All right, so if we go back, um, we're going to want to scan the next book. And this one says reject as well. And you're going to be hearing this a lot. So get used to it. As Reasy Resale says, it's not about finding the winners. It's about getting through the no's. So you got to get through a lot of no's before you find that one yes. So don't think it was trying to find the yes. More of you're just trying to get through the no's. All right, so this one is, an, is reject as well. It says you're going to make 81 cents at a buy cost of $2. If we were to put this at a buy cost, you could click the top right and you can adjust the buy cost at 50 cents. It's still saying reject. Um, I believe it's like whatever you put your trigger at, it'll change, but I'm going to go ahead and put it back at two. Just to show you guys, you can change the buy cost. Um, we're going to go to the next one. Let's see here. All right, so this one does say accept. Um, and this is one thing that I was wanting to show you guys, and I'm glad I had this book handy, is it says accept, but there's conditions on this accept. If you take a look there, you can see an FBA offer of 496, and this is trying to say accept it at a 1275 price through Amazon. But right now, if you click this top right, there's actually an even cheaper price at 1197. 
and if you click over one more time, this is going to be the used on the left and the new on the right. On the used on the left, it says FBA 496 at the lowest offer. So it's going to say you're going to lose $2.95. So even if you hear the green light, definitely always review your books and make sure it is accurate. Um, for some reason, it'll it'll jump to a higher price. I'm not exactly sure why, but it's just one of those things. And if we go ahead and take a look here and click the little A on the bottom right, it's going to do a live lookup. And we can see what this book is actually going for. It says, currently there are no sellers like another side under your location. That's different. Um, so this would be something that you could do on the Amazon Seller Central page. So you could go ahead and use your Amazon app, check out those um, FBA offers, and see if it is accurate at 496. But that's one thing you always want to look for, even if it does say accept. All right, moving on. So the next one here, it says accept has a used buy box price of thirteen twenty five and a new price of fifteen on the top right. We're not selling it new, but just so you can see. And it says that there's thirty seven used, twenty new, one hundred seventeen thousand sales rank, not bad. A fifty five e score, so it sold fifty five in the last six months, and a profit of four ten at a buy cost of two dollars. And if you scroll over, it'll give it to you in a little bit of a graph form, so you can see the sales rank are good, the e score is good. The bad thing about this book is the lowest used, so it means people can go and buy this book for five ninety four. So the odds of them trying to buy it from you for thirteen twenty five are low, but considering that you are FBA and people get to use their Amazon Prime, it does give you an advantage. All right, so that one was a good one there. Let's go ahead and do another one. All right, $3.02 and a buy cost of $2 and a used buy box of $12. So this one's definitely a good one. It's got a very good e-score of 151 plus and a rank of 570. So this book would more than likely sell very, very quickly, if not in the first week at a good price. Um, and the other thing I was going to show you was if you click the buy cost, you can put it down, for instance, one of the um, thrift stores that we go to in our area. It is 50 cents for paperback and a dollar for hardback. So this one is a hardback. So now we'd make $4.02 off this one book. That would definitely sell very quickly. All right, we got another one here. All right, this one says reject at a used buy box of $9.99. And a profit of 234 and a buy cost of one. So, this is another great example I want to show. It's saying reject, but it is all about your triggers and what you're willing to pay to make. So, for instance, this book at a Goodwill is going to cost me about $2 and some change after tax. To me, right now, being small, it's worth it to buy a book at two to make two. So, you spend two to make two. Um, once you hit a threshold, to some people, it's not worth it. You know, you want to, you want to make more than you're spending. So this is all about setting your triggers, which I'm going to go over that here in just a second. So personally, I still bought this book at two uh, to make $2.34 because I did buy it at a thrift store that only cost me $0.50. Cents. So as you can see, it now says accept with a profit of two eighty four. So if you click back, you can go to your triggers here. I have not touched any of my triggers since I've started using the app. And basically, you can adjust your triggers to go off at a certain um, profit range. So for instance, this one is saying it must be at least $2.50 profit to ring between 1,000 and 50,000 sales rank with an e-score of 151. And it goes down to all the different e-scores and the sales rank and the profit margin. So you can adjust that to your liking and however you want to use it. Personally, I have not touched it. Um, this is just for people who maybe know exactly what they're looking for. For instance, when I started out, I didn't. So it's been a learning, a little bit of a learning curve, and I just used it how, uh, right out of the gates, and it's been really well. And now I'm going to show you what it does if it can't read the barcode. So if you scan one and it can't read it, it's just going to give you that, that sound that you just heard there, and it says no results found. And the other thing with this one right here, the one that it will read, is you get these... Um, I don't want to say goofy, but these outrageous, it's basically someone being a clown with this book. This is a calendar book type of deal um, where it shows verses on different time, uh, different different days of the year. And there's a clown right now with a 312 uh, used price, but you can see it sold zero in the last six months. If you do an Amazon lookup or a live lookup, you can see that there are um, merchants not not Amazon Prime people, not FBA, but just sell, uh, seller fulfilled, asking ridiculous prices for this. So this probably wouldn't be a good book because the e score is zero. But if you did come in and you put that at maybe nineteen ninety nine or you know fourteen ninety nine, whatever you can make a, a profit at, 
and possibly just get it sold. You know, you might just because people are going to see it and be like, oh my gosh, what a deal. So there's little things like that that you want to look out for. Don't always take these crazy um, numbers as a truth because a lot of times it's just people being, uh, being clowns. So, and then there's, we'll do one more here. This one says accept. It does have a, it has a higher rank there, 1.1 to 25 e-score. Still though, not bad considering 25 is sold in the last six months and you're going to make a profit of almost $15. Um, this one I did pay a uh, dollar for, it was a hardback. So I'm going to make a total of $14.43. And you can see the competing FBA offers here is $26.84. Good. So the G means good. The V means very good. And the L means like new. And then there's also an A, as you can see on the left side here, that means acceptable. So those are, you know, you can price yours based on how the condition of the book is. So it's very important to price competitively um, at the condition of the book. Some people say it doesn't matter. I personally think it does. Because if I'm going to buy something, I... You may not want acceptable if it's it's a if I just pay a dollar more for a good book. You know what I mean? All right, so that is everything today, guys. I just want to give you a quick overview of the Scout IQ app. Hopefully, you learned a little bit today, and I'll be catching you on the next one, guys. Peace.